Hello and welcome to this video. I haven't uploaded a few things in a while, sorry for that. But I want to give you a small update regarding what will happen on this channel and what happens with LEGO Robotics in general and why or how it can impact this channel. I kind of left this channel dormant, sorry for that. But a reason for that is uh, that LEGO now officially discontinues LEGO Mindstorms. We got the Robot Inventor in 2020 and now they discontinue it just two years after the release. In the past, LEGO Mindstorms has always been supported for around seven years. or It has been the main product for around seven years and then we've got a new product. So far we haven't got a replacement for Robot Inventor. And now that Robot Inventor is discontinued, we don't have any Mindstorms set anymore. And that is pretty or kind of a big deal for this channel because not only Mindstorms but also LEGO Boost is discontinued. The Star Wars Boost set got discontinued around two years ago and now the normal Boost set is discontinued as well. And that means that there are no official LEGO programming sets anymore. There are still Control Plus sets and Powered Up sets but none that promote programming actively. And this is pretty bad for a channel that's focused on tutorials. So I'm not really sure how I will continue this channel because there's not uh, as much stuff to talk about. I've been doing my LEGO Mindstorm Scratch tutorial for Robot Inventor and uh, Spike Prime and I will continue that. I will finish it in the next months. I don't really have a time schedule for that because I have no time pressure because now it's discontinued. Of course Spike Prime is still available. It's still continued. But uh, I think that most people that watch this tutorial are interested in Robot Inventor and not in Spike Prime. Which means that it's it's got a much uh, smaller user base, the tutorial. Which is uh, not, really, not really motivating for me to make more parts. But I will finish this tutorial series, at least with the basic functions of the app, at one point. I've also promised a video or an update for the compatibility video for every Christmas and I've got reminded of that in the comments. I will still do that video at one point. It will probably be my next video but I'm not really sure when I will upload it probably in during this month, February of 2023. There I will talk about what's compatible with what but yeah again motivation is not really Hi, and I will still, or I will also continue to upload videos for updates and for interesting stuff that I do, like this remote control bed uh, mobile. There are still topics that are, uh, or that will be covered, but I won't do a, pro a project like this every month. So this channel will be always stay pretty much dormant for a while. Or it will not really be dormant, but there are not really topics to talk about in my opinion. So I won't do as many videos. Also there's another problem. Um, I already said that Boost is discontinued and also LEGO Mindstorms EV3, the one before Robot Inventor was discontinued. And I checked the LEGO Mindstorms website a few weeks ago. I tried to download the Mindstorms app the new programming app and when I go to Android tablet you can't read this because it's in German but uh, the it says that the URL the website is not available which kind of means that the app is delisted. The same happened with the LEGO Boost Star Wars app. It's discontinued as well. You can't download it anymore if you didn't add it to your account. On Android you can download the APK on some suspicious website but it's not really usable on iOS if you didn't download it before and that's a real problem because you don't have the original app and the functionality got transferred to the powered up app. They don't tell you that outside of the LEGO Boost Star Wars app but that's another topic. They transferred the LEGO Boost Star Wars stuff into the LEGO, Mind uh, into the LEGO powered up app but they only made this remote control layout. You can't program it, you can't sh change the program. They don't have the 3D instru instructions, they don't have the interactive missions. Basically everything 
that the set did or which they promoted the set with is missing. And that's really problematic, I think. And I think that it's hard to promote Lego electronics with this amount of backwards compatibility or with this much service regarding the longevity of the product. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way or get that out to you. I'm really not happy about the current situation. You can feel free to share your feelings about it in the comments with me. But that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and bye.